Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at a system which hopefully will enable us to view on the neck of the guitar all our chords and scales and put them into some logical order. The system is referred to as the cage system. In previous lessons we've looked at C, the scale and the appropriate chords with it. We've looked at A, G, E and D. We've already covered these five open position chords, scales, and now we're going to look at the CAD system, C-A-G-E-D. Each of these chords that we've learnt, or we refer to them as forms, can be moved on the fretboard of the guitar. So before we get started, let's tune up. Here's our first E. High E, our first string. The B string. G or D or A and finally the open sixth. close. Now the cage system basically means, there will be a few new words for you, instead of referring to them as the C chord, we're going to call it the form, the C form, or the A form, G form, E form, or D form, etc. Now all our examples um, in this first um, lesson are going to be in the key of G, but I'm going to give you a workout to play all five forms. Uh, and this will be a great uh, exercise for you to do, get familiar with the five forms and how they move. So I'm going to give an example in G. G major, the ordinary open way. Now I'm going to play G using the E form. Have a look at the form. Our E form moved to G. Our root note G, third fret on the sixth string. The next form would be the D form. Now this one might cause you a little bit of a stretch with the, the first finger. And as you can see, the form itself is simply the D form, transported D, E, F to G. So our first finger, fifth fret on the fourth string is the root note. Now we'll move it to the C form, and again, Without the first finger, you can see that this is simply the C chord or form that you've been playing for quite a while here. Transported D, E, F to G. First finger bar. The next one, the A form. Again, to bar this, as we've done in previous lessons, instead of the three fingers, one finger, and we've transported it all the way to 10th fret, 5th string, G major using the A form. And lastly, we'll finish with the one we started with here, the G, and all the way up here to the 13th fret, or sorry, the 15th fret, G major. Again, I'll take away the first finger and you can simply see it's the G form. Now, each day try to Get these smooth. Make sure each note clear. Now, that gives us, if you notice that there's no gaps between the form. Each part of the fretboard is taken in by the G, E, D, C, A, and finally. And each one of these forms will act as a window to view your scales, all the chords in that key, all your solos, whether it be blues scale, pentatonics, major scale, modes, whatever, will be built inside each of the windows. So no matter what key we're playing in, if it happened to be E, there would still be five ways 
in which to play it. Exactly the same forms that we've just done in G. If it was F, again, five ways. In which to view our scales and harmony. So the first workout we're going to do is the major scale. We're going to use the E form of G major and we're going to build the major scale over two octaves within this window. We're then going to break it into intervals, uh, to arpeggios and finally put our chords. So in the one window we'll have all the information we need to play in that key over this form. The fingering is very important so start on the second finger on the root note G, 3rd fret, 6th string. I'll just go through it slowly with you and then we'll, we'll uh, speed it up. So 3rd fret, 5th fret with your 4th finger, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 5th string, 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 5th string, 4th finger, 5th fret, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd finger on the 4th fret, 4th string, 4th finger, 5th fret. Let's have a look at that just. Notice that when you start with your 2nd finger that every finger is in place. Any note played on the 2nd fret will be played automatically with your 1st finger. Any f note on the 3rd fret will be played with your 2nd, 3rd finger, the 4th fret, and the 5th with your 4th finger. So every finger will be assigned a fret. Let me just recap on that. Now we'll take it to the second octave. First finger, third finger, fourth finger, second finger, fourth finger, first finger, Notice with the right hand I'm using alternate picking. Uh, it's a good thing to get started with. Later we can look at different methods of picking, but the alternate picking is usually the most efficient. And finally, play the chord. This gives you a reference to the scale. That's your reference to the window. Try to make each note sound clean and even. And as I said, use alternate picking. Try to use the correct fingering. Try not to chop and change. Just keep exactly. Even with the scale, before going any further, you could use this as a tool to think of a melody, any melody, whether it's a nursery rhyme or a Christmas song or something simple that you already know, and try and find the notes within that scale, within that window, without going outside of it. You may pick... You get the picture. It could be anything. Anything you can think of, try and find the notes there. Try and play them the way that you would sing them, and that'll help you get used to the notes and the feel of them. <laughs> 